So here at the bottom of your page three, personal integrity requires honesty on this truth topic with God, self, and others. That's where God will consistently call you to honesty, authenticity. He wants you to be authentic versus synthetic. Honest with God, that's pretty easy. Honest with self, I don't know. I kind of had a slippery character. I would lie to myself all the time. I'd trick myself into doing things I know I shouldn't do. Being honest with yourself was a definite test for me, still is. Honest with others, oh, mama. Mm -mm. That was the worst place that you could have said for me to go. Because I don't want people to know the real me, but God says, I want them to know the real you because the real you is all that matters. The false you, that doesn't matter. So personal integrity requires honesty with God, self, and others. My pastor, Rick Warren, great guy. What an awesome guy. He says, we grow by taking risks, and the greatest risk of all is being honest with yourself and other people. Oswald Chambers said, you can never be the same after the unveiling of a truth. So who does God want you to be? Who has he created you to be? He has created you and this men's culture at Mariner's Church to be men of integrity, men of character, and men of truth.